B. Okay, so we're going to draw, it's going to be a little bigger though. So let's put a dot right about there to start your B. And then you're going to do little tiny a V like that. And then you're going to draw a two semicircles on each side. And I'm going to zoom in on the B here. And if you draw, if you have a nice sharp pencil, you can go around and around. And you can leave one dot. You see how that works? So if you just do a circle and make it black all around it, It looks like two eyes, and then we're going to put the back of the, the head of the bee. Okay, so now I'm going to go back, and maybe I'll go in just a little bit. And now we're going to draw the thorax. So you're going to put a dot right there, and you're going to go out and down, out and down. You just don't want to go farther. You don't want to go farther out than the eyes. So don't make it too big. And then the bee has to stay really warm. So if you push down really softly on one side of the bee and really softly on the other side of the bee and then you could do it again and so this will, if you push down really softly, it'll look just like hair. And the bee has to stay really super warm. So this is going to be make it look really... And then you're going to come in a little closer inside of the thorax there. And keep making more hair. And then just keep going around and around and just keep putting lines. And eventually it looks kind of furry, which is what we want to the bee to look like, kind of furry. And then we'll take a, a light brown, like apricot or peach, and we're going to outline the head. Just outline the body and color it in. Don't go outside the fur, because then it looks good. It looks kind of furry there. And then we're going to draw the abdomen. So we're going to put a dot down there on your bee like that. And I think it kind of works out well to kind of go like that first. And then you're going to do this nice kind of a round shape there. And then have the two sides match up. Then we can draw a stripe like that and you can push down hard medium soft hard medium soft you can leave it kind of light in the middle and that looks good it makes it look round so I'm going to put another set of stripes um, so the bees are in trouble because of all the pesticides and they're big pollinators so um, the more you learn about the, the trouble that the bees are in the more you start to really care about the planet so I'm going to make a bunch of stripes here as many as you can and then I'm going to take a, a nice yellow. A kind of either dandelion yellow or goldenrod. I think I'll go with dandelion. And I'm just going to push down on the on the outside here, in between those stripes, because it looks kind of. I think it looks kind of good to have it kind of light in the middle, and then it looks kind of shiny gives the bee a little bit of, makes it look round a little bit. A 
So the reason we're drawing a B is because um, of the quote, be the change you want to see in the world, and this will help you remember. The, we're going to put a dot right here and right there, and that's where the first set of legs are going to go. So we're going to go out, across, and back. So this area, the first, um, first leg of the leg is going to be a little bit thicker. Okay, so I can take, I can actually take my pencil and make it, okay, so there's one part of the leg, and then you're going to go, so those go out, now we're going to go kind of straight up a little ways, and then we're going to go out this way. And on the end of each, we'll just put a couple little pinchers. This area right here could be a little bit thicker if you want, just a tiny bit. So I think if we start to change the world, be the change you want to see in the world, it's like, what kind of world do you want? We'll start right here. What kind of a world um, do you kind of think would be a good world? You know, do you think fighting on the playground is a good world? No. Do you think pushing in the lunch line is a good world? Probably not. That's not a good idea either. Um, helping your mom you know, or your uncle, or your dad, or your neighbor, you know, do do something. That might be a good world, you know, where we kind of help each other. So, I, I like drawing the bee because the bee, uh, they work really hard. You know, they're... They're, this is what you're drawing right here is a, a worker bee and so we need to work on peace you can put two dots right there and then we can bring out another set of legs this this, this section's a little thicker and uh, there's actually little hairs you can draw a couple little hairs if you want on the back legs Okay, so the, then the, this leg is going to come down, like that, and then it's going to go out with two pinchers on the end. And then, let's see, I'm going to bring it down a little, and then I'm going to also go out a little bit. Um, so... Now it gets to the kind of the fun part. We're going to put the, you're going to put a dot where you think the wings should go. So, you know, kind of, you, you kind of want them about the same distance, but, you know, just kind of guess. And then you're going to start, like I like to show the kids, okay, now you're going to kind of start right there, and then you're going to go it's kind of a curved wing so you're going to kind of make it like a curve but then it's going to turn into like a J right and then you're going to start over here right under that other that first leg go out and make a J and then you're going to come down and curve back in towards the the body, come down and go back in towards the body, and so the, I think the B is just a good symbol for this quote, be the change you want to see in the world, be the change, and then you're going to do the second set of wings that's going to kind of start like right there 
and then this group is a little bit smaller. Come around and then go back to the body. And then the only thing left to draw on the draw on the bee. Well, let's do the um, the sky blue, and you're gonna outline the outside of the bee. You're gonna start at the bee. Go out here, down and back, out, down and back. So you outline the outside. This will make the wings kind of pop out. And then you're just going to really softly, as soft as you can, just go around the wings. And think about what kind of a world maybe you want there to be. How in your own little small way can you make a difference or be a change in the world? Maybe if you just take on all the recycling in your family then you'd be part of the change you want to see in the world. Or make your bed every day. One small thing. And then you can put a little periwinkle. That's another nice color. You can put a little bit of that on top of it or around it. I just kind of like those two colors together. Periwinkle blue and... Sky blue. And it's kind of interesting, you know, the honeybees, um, they have a stinger. The, the females are the only ones with a stinger. And the stinger is back here. And after they sting you, they die. So sometimes we get so upset when we get stung, so got to think about the, the bee loses its life completely. Um, and then we're going to put the antenna, it's going to start here, and you're just going to put it on top of the legs, go right over it. And and so there we have another quote. And now you, that you think of being the change. So this is an easy one to remember, but you know something that will keep you busy all your life. Be the change. You. You want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. And that is by Gandhi. G-A-N-D-H-I. So there we have another page for your book and another quote to carry around in your heart. at a time One person at a time We can build a world of peace One person at a time I can't change the whole world wide But I can change the world inside And so we start from 
heart to heart, one person at a time. And so we start from heart to heart, one person at a time. We must be the change we want to see in the world. We must be the change we want to see. One person we must at a time. Be the One we person want at a time. We, we can must build be a world of peace. One person at a time. Wherever I can't change the world, wide, but I can change the world inside. And so we start from heart to heart. One person at a time. And so we start from heart to heart, one person at a time. Let your life speak. Let your life speak. Let the love come with all and out. Every day of the week. Let your heart sing. Let your voice ring. It's perfect. 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 One person at a time. Let your life speak. One person at a time. Let your life speak. We can be. Let the love come with One person at a time. Every day of the week. I can't change. Let your heart sing, but I can change the let your heart sing. It's simple, it's simple, it's perfect, one person at a time. It's where your life be, and so we start from heart to heart. It's perfect, one person at a time. It's peace, one person at a time. Let your life sing, one person at a time. Let your life sing. Change the let your heart sing. And so we we'll it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And so we start from heart to heart, one person at a time. One person at a time.